Hello and welcome to PA Academy. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a square whose area is equal to a given parallelogram. So what we have here, we have a parallelogram already. So let me call this point A, B, C and point D. So how do we draw a square that will be of the same area with this given parallelogram? So welcome to PA Academy. Uh, before we get into this video, please, if you are here to subscribe to PA Academy or you are new to PA Academy, uh, please click on the subscribe button um, below this video and the little bell icon beside the subscribe button to subscribe to PA Academy. Alright, so thank you very much if you have just done that. If you are here to, please click on the subscribe button uh, to subscribe to this channel. Alright, thank you very much if you have just done that. So let's get into this video. So now once you have your the given parallelogram, the first thing you have to do is to extend this line AB. So that line AB, I'm going to extend it to the right. So I already have my line AB. Extend it to the right. So the next thing is, on this point B, here we are having point B, we are going to draw a perpendicular line. That means a line that's straight up that will be at 90 degrees to this line AB. So I'll be using my protractor to do that. So I'll place it on point B. So this is 90 degrees. So I'll draw a line up. So the next thing is, we are going to be introducing our compass. Now let's note this point. Where this perpendicular line is touching line DC. So it's touching it at this point. So let's call this point, point E. So let's call that point, point E. So the next thing is, is to use our, uh, our compass with the length of BE. So I'll place my compass here and with the length of BE. So you can place your compass directly on it to get the length or you can as well use your um, ruler to measure it. So once you get the length with your ruler, then you bring your compass to measure it on your uh, on your ruler, whichever way is convenient for you. So this is it. from this point now with the length a uh, b e rather. So from the distance between b to e, you are going to use it to draw a uh, an arc rather. You draw an arc. So the arc will be to the right. All right. So let's call those points points F. So where it is touching this line that we extend, this line A B that we extend. Let's call it point F. So the next thing we have to do is to draw a semicircle on this from point A to point F. So we are going to draw a semicircle. So let me see the length of A F. So A F is about fourteen. 14.3 14 uh, 14 so you can just look for uh, the middle of 14.3 so you can just look for the middle of 14.3 uh, so once you get the middle you use it to get uh, your semicircle but uh, there's a, another way you can just do it is to use your compass so once you use it to get to measure the length of this AF so I've extended it to the length of AF so from point F I'll draw an arc at the top I also draw an arc below, so you might not see the one below. So from point A with the same length, draw an arc at the top and below. So they are points of intersection. So right now I want to join the points of intersection. So where, where it is touching on this line represents the center of this line AF. So let me note that point. So this is it, the center. So this will be the center of the semicircle we are going to be drawing. So I'll bring in my compass again. So use it to get the length, which will be the radius rather, which will be the radius of the semicircle. So with this now, I can draw the semicircle. So just confirm that I'm correct, okay? So now I'll draw a semicircle. So 
So now where this semicircle is touching this uh, perpendicular line we drew earlier. So it is touching it at this point. Let's call it point G. It's touching this perpendicular line on point G. That means the semicircle is touching the perpendicular line at point G. Now, with that, this line GB. This line represents one side of the square that is equal to the area whose area is also equal to the area of this given parallelogram. So now we have one side of the square. So the next thing is we can use just measure this side and use it to get the other side of the square. So at this point now you can just do uh, two things. You can just measure measure the uh, length of GB. So once you get the length, this is about um, 6.6. .6. So once you have it at 6.6, .6, you can bring in your your compass and place it on your ruler to measure 6.6. .6. So once you have the 6.6 off, you can just place it directly on it to get the length. So either way, so once you've gotten it like this, so from point B, you draw an arc on this line. So here you are having that arc on this line that we extend, that is line AB, the extension. You place the compass with the same length, you draw an arc upward, you come to point G. You draw an arc. So now let's join all the points of intersection. So where these two arc meets, I'm going to join it to this point, to this arc on this line. So same thing, I'm going to join this point to point G. So let me make this point, uh, this line thicker. So let me call this point H and then let me call this point I. So with this now, this is now the square. So the area of this square is also equals to the area of this given parallelogram. So this is how you go about when you are asked to draw a square whose area is equal to the area of a given parallelogram. Now if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and if you also want um, more videos on how to draw a particular uh, shape to be equal to the area of another shape. Uh, can you check the, uh, the description of this video? There are different videos either how to draw a triangle that is the same area with a square or how to draw a square with of equal area with a given rectangle. You know, there are different videos like that, different dimension like that. You'll find the link in the description of this particular video. So if you have any question or any comments, also just leave them in the comment section below. And if you are here to subscribe, please, please, please just click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel, PA Academy. Also check our playlist on technical drawing for more helpful videos like this. You can also visit our website, paacademy.co, paacademy.co. Also follow us on Facebook at PA Academy and I'll join our Facebook group, PA Academy. So with that, guys, I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.